Greetings, travelers, and welcome back to Life is Strange. It's come. It's finally time for the last chapter of Life is Strange. I don't even... I don't, I don't even know if I'm prepared for this. This has been such a wild ride through the first four episodes, and... Oh my gosh, the cliffhanger that we were left on last time is just ridiculous, so... Let's just jump right into the final episode, Polarized. The Dark Room. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. You know more about her than me. No! You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. I think we might have been a little uh, too hard look, on the Chloe's stepdad. What are you doing in my dorm? I think he was trying you to uncover are this. So fucking dead. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Him and Mr. Jefferson <sighs> both. First. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. The whole last half of that episode was just completely heartbreaking. Rachel, I'm sorry, and we Chloe. still don't know. I'm so sorry. I mean, we have a pretty good idea of the state of Chloe, but... I know you're close to Nathan, but your life is in serious danger. I mean, we are a time traveler. Me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. Look how. What the fuck? Then that happened. And at that point in time, we were just like, what just happened? And now I guess we're going to find out. Max is not in a good situation at this moment. Unfortunately, I think the next victim has swapped from Victoria to Max at this point just by circumstance. And Chloe? I don't know. I don't know if we can rewind time to save her. My thoughts are that we took that picture with Warren right before we went to the party. Maybe we can use that picture to go back and change everything, but I don't... I don't know. <coughs> like, at this point in time, she's been drugged up, and so her she has she hasn't been able to use her powers. Otherwise, she would have immediately rewound after Chloe had been shot. You even saw her try there. All this time, we thought Nathan was the culprit, and it sounded like this was Nathan's sort of bunker hideout. So maybe he's sharing it with Mr. Jefferson. I don't know. Maybe the, the two aren't linked. Or maybe Mr. Jefferson is blackmailing Nathan to use his money from his parents. Or there's just too many what ifs. And I'm afraid what's going to happen to Max next. <coughs> oh, oh, we're awake. Uh oh, camera's already set up. Come on, Max. We got to find our way out of this. Whoop. Mouse has gone a little crazy there. I think you know where. Uh, the dark room. Um, can't rewind time, of course. Wait, is that Vic? That, that's Victoria. Is For a second, I thought it was like there? a mannequin, but please help. Apparently, he went through with his Victoria plan, anyways. Uh, detach. <laughs> Come on. Help! Somebody help me! 
Try your other one. It's just duct tape. If you can get it to start tearing, then... These straps are hurt. Uh... Photo. Oh, shit. That's me. He took that... God. I don't remember anything that happened. Oh. Just... This must be the same Is she awake? Kate. Victoria. Wake up. She's probably more heavily drugged than Max is. Okay, what is that over there? Of course. And right in front of me. Uh, keep wiggling. There we go. Now we're making some progress here. Finally, I'm free. Can you pull the trolley Almost. with your foot now? There we go. Why there's all this medical equipment, I don't want to know. Uh, God, I don't remember anything that happened. Is there like a this scalpel or anything? Nathan used on Kate. Do I really want to look at the photo? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Um... Focus on the photo. Oh. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Why do we want to go back in time on this picture? Seems like a weird choice, but... Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh. There we go. Oh, that voice. So creepy. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. You know, you could probably get models to volunteer Who for this kind of thing. Them? Stay still! Like, the fact that he's taken and kidnapping people says this is more about the art than oh, says this is more about him than the art up my shot. but please don't worry we have all the time in the world for now i knew you were special the second i saw your first selfie gross yes i still hate that word but i love the purity of your own image not like rachel who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. So you take all these photos and you can't even do anything with them because they're completely Don't illegal. Move. So he's obviously doing it for his own perversion. Much better. What a sicko. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows. So it originally started with Nathan and then a whole lot more. he kind of took over. As his elite family will find out. Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. Come on, oh, Max. Wake up and kick him in the nuts. Come on. It's just too you went back in time so to this point for a reason. Damn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24/7 surveillance, so oh, all geez. I had to do was text What is that in the background? <coughs> what is that like a miasma? Into my hands. Is that time really kind of like focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend? <gasps> Chloe. Chloe. Right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. Oh, he's going to frame Nathan. Like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups.
I don't Max, like this at all. Please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Okay, but he just got finished saying that the whole purpose of this exercise was because they're not posing. And the expressions are natural and unhindered. Now don't move or this will hurt. Your window of opportunity is closing very quickly, Max. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. Oh my gosh, what? God damn, you are a fighter. And I have to go I've back and listen to his lectures to see, been see the hints he was dropping? This, this week than maybe your whole life. Come on, kick him. Kick him in the junk. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Why go back into that time? You're going to be back in the chair again. No. We did change time a little bit, maybe, since we kicked that cart. So what was that folder? Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. <clears throat> okay, so we're right back here where we started. Oh. <laughs> um okay what's oh that's the wet Wait. folder jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos good now i can use them what photos we got here I i'm definitely more awake in this photo i could try this one oh, this <laughs> might work please work Okay, we'll try, but... Oh. Oh. Yep, yep, there we go. Oh, passed it. There we go. Oh. I'm getting some spectacular images here. Max. What is so? What is that yes. going on? Victoria is that whole storm going to be caused because of this? She doesn't these rapid jumps that I'm making now. Connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose <clears throat> you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Don't dignify him by calling him his name. I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura and those lucky few become my models is that what that my whole subjects competition yes. was for you're a psychopath and this is your last session and victoria was the winner of course au contraire max i'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now as you can see sleeping beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens and don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Yeah, no Go kidding. To hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet. I think having a conversation with him is I just justifying it all the crap he's talking. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. Let's just get him angry. Maybe we can get him to slip up <laughs> and make a mistake. A your face changed color. <clears throat> Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. 
I yeah, do my know bad. That the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the <clears throat> town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Wait, what? You're going to pose these pictures as Nathan's work? I mean, everyone will believe you because, I mean, it's Nathan's bunker. Uh, I'm not so sure. Nathan's really, I don't, wouldn't say he's... Nathan has a lot of problems, but I wouldn't say he's gone as far as Jefferson has. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. <clears throat> like with an image. <clears throat> Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. <clears throat> it happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, geez. So, Rachel only died by an accident. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? Why? How messed Why? up is this guy? Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. That was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. How does this You're psychopath evil. hide this oh, see. personality because you stopped your while amongst everyone else? I cared more How did no one even catch on to no, this? No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son where is nathan now dead and buried what after what he did to rachel i knew i couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer now the police will never find his body do you finally get it now max i can't compromise my vision with amateurs you are an amateur look at the trail of death you left behind you can't blame all this on nathan i don't care what you do to me you're gonna die motherfucker for Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Jeez. Oh, okay. <sighs> now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Oh yeah, sure. Put on the creepy ambient music. All right, what journal? I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. All right. Is there a reason to rewind? I'm going to rewind since it's letting me. Okay. Now Wait, please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Uh, my diary. You, you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's dog. All I need to see is one picture. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. All right. So now I think I think the diary he dropped the diary within reach of our feet. So there we go.
Was this the one in class? We're gonna go all the way back. All right. Here we go. I could frame. Can we change anything though? And capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane <clears throat> week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever photo again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your now, was how do we prove it, though? For selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I'm not going to answer it properly this time. Let's go with not capturing. I'm not into capturing your interest. That's kind of sick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I guess somebody hasn't had their coffee. Do you want to try again? <laughs> okay, okay, the Daguerrean process. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, Victoria, if only you knew. Let's, uh... And let's this is on. before Kate's incident as well. Uh, anyway, so the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. How are we going to do this? First, let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Huh. Okay. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Technically, we have a lot of time now to handle this. Wait, wasn't Chloe getting shot in the bathroom at this point in time? Whoops, I didn't mean to rewind time. Um, I guess we'll start going I through stuff. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Uh, Found you. There we are. Okay, so we got David's number. Now, let's warn David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. All right. Wait, deleted. Oh, you so. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So that no one could see that I sent it. I so guess. I'll be going to San Francisco, and Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Okay. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Uh, yeah, because we just changed the it entire. Doesn't matter what happens to me. Sure, let's use Victor. Fix it so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Let's talk to Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Say you won't try jumping Neither off a I. building to start. Maybe we could both use a hug. <laughs> You always know the right thing to do. I think we're going to be changing too many things. You caused the storm, Max. You do it. Photo, let's take a picture of her. Why not? Ta-da. <laughs> She's like, okay, but sure. Weirdo. Okay. Anyway, etched marks. Rachel Amber Forever? Who wrote that? Oh, Rachel. Uh, probably Nathan. I'm sorry. 
Unless Chloe was in this room at one point in time. I don't know. I think Rachel had a few admirers. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to this. Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. She's like, I've seen what it. are you talking Listen, about? I, I didn't. You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't. Look at Max go. Jeez. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You Look at that confidence. This is like okay. Huge character turnaround compared to now. who she Do was I, in episode one. Mr. Jefferson. I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. <clears throat> <clears throat> then I guess I'm done talking. That's okay too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now, it's kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. What is it? Oh, uh, was it the one of easy. No. Kate? It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or Ugh. guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Kind of beating around the bush a little bit, but kind of not. Oh, yeah, that whole thing. And <clears throat> so they're kind of they're, they looks like they're wanting to burn away, but then they don't. I don't I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that changed. Oh, that's them breaking into the photo lab. I think. Ah, okay. And they arrest both of them. I assume Kate never attempts to jump off the building. They find the body, okay. And apparently my photograph won, that's cool. But I never reconnect with Chloe from the looks of it. At least Chloe doesn't. Oh, never mind. I guess we do. Sure. I guess I was gonna say it would be weird if Max didn't go back to Chloe. This all seems great, but I feel like we're not getting the whole story. Oh, okay. Are we flying to San Francisco now because we won the contest? Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. But who are we going with? Oh, Principal. Drinking his I hope mini I bottles of wine rest. on the airplane. I'm sure. Looking like he's dead. <laughs> Good work, David. Nice. So it's sort of a happily ever after kind of situation, but... Uh, holy crap, you rule, oh. Max. I'm so proud of my superstar. This oh, is the start alive. of your career. Oh, you're alive. I did it. But I it, fixed it feels too good to be true. I don't... Sir. I mean, that felt too easy. I say too easy. We just endured like four or five days worth of torment. Seeing our best friend get shot. Finding a dead body and now none of that even happened. 